Welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming, where we are the boys inside your head. I'm Jonas. I'm TNT Don. I'm Mike the Explosive One, and we're playing the Infectious Madness of Dr. Decker. We get to go to day two. At least I think so. Do we get to talk to the promiscuous woman first? Promiscuous girl, do you know what <laughs> I like? Promiscuous girls, that's what I What's like. The promiscuous girl, okay, you're, so... you're dead and dead. I don't know what this word is, though, dude. Do you, do you remember what these people's problems were? Uh, Let's see. The first girl blacked out drunk. Oh, I can go to the next day. Yeah, we, yeah, we were able to go the next day. Uh, do you remember what Nathan's problem was? Not not off the top of my was head. Was he dude. the guy who did... This is obviously a new play session. Yeah, let's um, just go the next day. We'll figure it out, dude. Mariana. The one girl stabbed her husband. This is just a refresher for me. Okay, anything. that girl was the, the blackout dancer. Blackout dancer. She's very sexual. Yes, extremely. Uh, Aline was... She was a nurse. She was super nice. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. She did... And what, she, did she work with kids or... Yeah, but what was her what was her issue? I don't remember. All the people at work hate her. <laughs> okay, yeah, she has. And an then issue. this girl killed her hu or stabbed her husband, and then said she was rich but had to caretake, couldn't caretake. Yeah, so, yeah she had anger issues. And then Bryce was the guy who saw back in time. Yeah, regardless. Oh he, yeah, because one went back in time. Yeah, this is that was him. He got the extra hour. And the other guy did something crazy too. He had I, a weird thing that went. Look, on. I, you know what? I hate to pull the veil, but yeah, we don't know, so we'll find out. All we'll right. Remember, are you sure? I am one hundred percent yep. sure. All right. Oh, Doctor, Hello. glad I caught you. I thought you might want to hear what Ben had to say. Quick catch up. Who's Ben? I don't know. I guess we're going to listen. Oh, we get to catch up with Jaya. Oh, nice, dude. Is that That's her our... name? Jaya? 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 Yeah, Jaya, I guess. I would say I would say it's like mm -hmm. Maya, but with J. Jaya. All right. Uh... Or it could be Gaia if like you're going real weird. Let's uh, go ahead and t tell me yeah. about Ben, Jaya. I'm not sure Ben will be coming in for a while. He's still pretty shook up about finding the body. Oh, Ben I'm found the body. It doesn't happen more often in the line of work he's in. Anyway, he said he found the body at exactly 20 minutes past 10. For some reason, the first thing he did was look at his watch. That's all he'd say before he'd shut down. The police weren't very talkative either. I have a feeling if I found a dead body, the first thing I would do is look at my watch. <laughs> like, be like, what time is it? Yeah. Found this body at... Yeah, that's not that's not super crazy. Uh, I mean, I probably look at my phone because I don't wear a watch. So. Ben found Doctor Becker. No, let's. Who is who ben? is Ben? Yeah. Who is Ben? Sorry, didn't you know? No, Ben's one of the night shift cleaners. I'm sure he's got some tales he could Why tell. Why would it not be surprising in his line of work to overnight janitors find dead bodies all the time? Is that like <laughs> yeah. is that what's hot in the streets? I imagine that as opposed to like a daytime janitor they're going to find. Or a receptionist. Yeah. yeah I, I think a daytime janitor versus nighttime janitor, you're going to find more dead bodies. But is, is it even like, it even like a, is what are the chances they're going to find one at all as a nighttime janitor? I mean, I figure both of them are about equal, but if you're nighttime, you go up by an extra So, so like a daytime janitor is like 0.02% chance, and then the, day, the nighttime is like, 0.08 percent chance yeah, yes but, yes <laughs> right yes neither one is a one percent chance no. of finding uh dead body but, but you definitely got a better chance of finding somebody My dead Lord. all right so ben found yes. the body ben found dr decker's body oh, on valentine's, valentine's day in his office in your office why'd you t <laughs> jesus why would you tell me that i mean you figure they tell him that up front yeah, right. Like, oh, hey, by the way, uh, haunted office. Uh, I mean, that's the dead guy's couch, bro. I know. You're sitting on it. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and tell me about the yeah. night, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Yes. You know, the 14th of February. I didn't literally mean tell me love. what Valentine's Day is, you dumb or bee. <laughs> remembering a massacre. Whichever's more you. Oh, she's coy. Oh, I get it. She's like, haha, it's, it's February 14th, unless you want to talk about the murder. So obviously, I'm not trying to figure out anything. By the way, Jonas, real quick, uh, yes, Horshack sir. test behind her, going from left to right. What do you see? Uh, two people looking at each other. Okay, like um, like in almost like they're gonna kiss, but not quite kissing. I see two birds on people's hands. Okay, uh, the next one over, I see. I kind of what I see is like a. Uh, like like that that mid white part in the middle is like a mustache with a mouth in between it. Maybe like the two okay. white parts at the top are like a it's like a dog maybe. Okay. In like a cosmos. I see like uh, celestial dentures. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. <laughs> the uh, the one. next one, I guess like a 
like a not really a butterfly, a bat maybe. Okay, okay. I see an angel. I, okay. I can see that though. And the last one, yes. I, I see a ring. Yeah, yeah, just a ring. Yeah, maybe a really butthole. Yeah, all right, black yeah. hole. <laughs> all right, how did you know? Dr. If you're a psychiatrist, we were best friends, but we did spend a lot of time together. There's only two of us that work here. I'm sure we'll become friends too, Doctor. Just try not to get murdered. She's really cute, dude. I think that girl's very cute. If you could keep it in your pants for five seconds. <laughs> <that's cute. laughs> I'm kidding. No, it's fine, dude. <laughs> she, she's, she's an attractive woman. All right, the police. <laughs> the police wanted to know what I was doing Valentine's night, you know, when the body was found. I was at home, all on my lonesome. So I guess that makes me a suspect. Oh, so she's a suspect a uh, too. Oh wait, wait, you can there's a little exclamation point. I see yeah. it. Oh, okay. So we gotta start asking the patients where they were on Valentine's yeah, Day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, so that yeah. so really this whole thing was just to be like, start asking your patients about Valentine's Day. Yeah. Do we have to ask that question ourselves though? Like is it gonna be in the thing or do we have to put I, I guess we'll find out. Yeah. I guess yeah. we'll find out. Let's find out who else is a suspect. The police want you to make a short list of suspects or maybe even find the killer. You're seeing all the patients that were on the books when he was killed. Uh -huh. There was no forced entry, so they think it might be someone he knew or someone who had access to the office. Yeah. Like little old me. Do you think I'm a suspect, Doctor? Yeah. She literally just said that she was a suspect. Yeah, you know you're a suspect, chick. No, you're not a suspect. or. But yet. it has an exclamation point. So that's probably the way we no, should No, that I think that that explanation point is always there cuz even when I close oh. it it's there. Oh, okay, cool. Uh yeah, you're a suspect. Oh, well, I wasn't expecting that. I suppose everyone's a suspect at the moment, even you. Why would I be a suspect? They right. did mention I needed grief counseling though, and I said you'd sort me out. I know you didn't agree, but I thought I'd let you know. But you also can't be a therapist for someone you know in your personal life. That's like a, a code of ethics violation. You would think. No, it is. A thousand percent. Like, I know people who do. Like, you can't see friends or friends of family or anything. Uh, do you know how Dr. Decker was killed? Why would anyone want to kill Dr. Decker? Or did Dr. Decker have any enemies? Um, let's ask her if, if he had enemies. I think first. Yeah, I feel like both of these are pretty much the same question. Yeah, pretty much. I yeah. wasn't really in his social circle, so I don't know if he had any friends. In terms of enemies, I heard things get heated in his office sometimes, but I won't name any names. The whole point is naming names because it's a suspect of who might have killed him. It's a murder case! <laughs> What are you like, talking like about? she goes to the police and they're like, anybody ever, you know, yell in his office? Oh, I can't name names. Yeah, Hippocratic goes, the man's dead. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh... Maybe, oh, maybe you should name names. Uh, yeah, maybe you should. Susan, Annabelle, Melissa... She's just saying names. There are some names, but they're not names of anyone I know. This FNB, dude. I don't like her coyness. Oh, good. my God. What, I would be like... He was stabbed, I'm sorry. so that's quite a personal thing to Oh, do. stabbed, okay. Now, I wouldn't be surprised if it was one of the patients who had a problem with the treatment they were getting... Okay. Yeah. Right. You want to move to another country? Nope. Okay. <laughs> you think a patient killed Dr. Decker over their treatment, or do you know how he was... Oh, wait. We already know the answer. Yeah, let's see. I'll just ask I'm just together. surmising. If you're unhappy enough to kill your therapist, they're probably not doing a very good job. Or they're pushing you to get through your stuff and you have a lot of other yeah. issues. I'm going to say that if you're trying to kill somebody, you're pretty insane. I don't know to begin exactly, with. Yeah. but a stabbing of some kind. We'll be getting the autopsy through at some point. I'll, I'll let you know when. Okay. Fair enough. I think that's uh, see, all. Okay. Yeah. I've, mm -hmm. I'm trying to think how I want to say this. Okay. Take your time. This game has holes. Yes. <laughs> and that's it. Perfect. It's not perfect. No. Where uh, Were there any clues left at the scene of the crime? This is all stuff you should have spoke I with the police about. I didn't see it myself, so I don't know. But I heard it was a bit of a mess with all the blood I mean, everything. lady, you're the yeah, office manager. People. Did you have to you clean, clean up, up the damn office? After such things, though, so you really can't tell, can you? But don't worry. That's a new chair. 
But the couch I'm on isn't. <laughs> She's sitting on the murder couch. Yeah, he was killed right here. Why is it a new chair? All I know is the police took his chair. Forensics, I suppose. Okay, police? that's good to know. Perhaps. Okay, cool. All right, so now it's like, what, next day? I guess that's Perhaps it. Perhaps you should see, ask somebody else a question. Okay. Now I can actually go to the next day. But we got some information. We know how the doctor was killed. We know that they had to get in close to him, so it was probably somebody he knew. Right, and then she said there was no breaking and entering. Or he was ambushed, I guess. Right, yeah, so, it, yeah. so he either let them in or they had access. Yeah. He was stabbed on Valentine's Day. Yeah. So we should we should definitely question people. Our clients are on the books at that time. I don't know when we became the detective of the story. I thought we were just taking over his his work as a psychiatrist. So like yeah, so like I I guess I didn't realize the point of this game was us to try to solve the murder. Yeah, that now, makes it way more interesting because I was like, what the hell is the point of this yeah, game? Yeah, I don't now know. I get it. But uh, either way, let's go to the next day. All right. Thanks. Uh, thanks, Aya. Day. Oh, he has loop days. Oh, it's oh we're doing one at a time now. Um. Okay. I don't know where we're at on time, by the way. I forgot. That's fine. Uh, we'll do a couple questions with him. We'll keep, we're fine. What do you uh, mean? We know exactly what he means, a loop. It's a do-over day. You won't remember. What's the name of your assistant again? Cutie. Uh, Ajaya is my assistant. You didn't know that yesterday. Can you remember where I met Hannah? Oh, dude. Whoa, bro. We're a Warcraft. Yeah, it was wow. Yeah. Yep. So they're going to test us so we remember? No. no, we played that game together, but we didn't meet in it. Oh, we met. they met in school. Oh, wow. You met her at school. Well done, Doctor. Yeah, we met at secondary. That's right. Wouldn't it be funny if my day loops if you fail to get a question right? Oh, wow. Yeah, that would, yeah. 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 Yeah, yes, it would be funny. No, wouldn't be funny. No, it wouldn't be funny, sir. I agree. Did I lose him? Did I lose him? What the hell just happened? I don't know, dude. The screen went screeny. Oh, okay. I guess it's next. Oh, oh. Can I back? I okay, I guess I'll go to. Okay. Here we go. Sure. What the hell? I'm having a loop day. Okay. Oh, we literally, it, it, ha ha, not funny. We literally have to do it and get it right. What do you mean by loop, bro? It's a do-over day. You won't remember. No, I remember 100%. What's the name of your assistant again? Easy, 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 easy. I love how that was the only, we didn't get a chance <laughs> to get this one wrong. I know, right? I suppose you did remember that yesterday. Can you remember where I met Hannah? Oh, it is a loop day for him because he's saying different stuff now. Because before he said, you didn't know that yesterday. And this time he said, I suppose you did know that yesterday. You met her at school, bro. Yeah, at secondary school. It's been fun, but... I've got a pill. <laughs> okay, hi. Congratulations. Welcome to pill... What pill? Yeah, what yeah I pill? guess keep away from the world. Dr. Decker gave me this pill. He told me if I took it, I'd never have another loop. Then why didn't you take it? Just been hanging on to it, bro? It's got a small skull and crossbow. Oh, that's why. I wouldn't take it either. Should I take the tablet, Doctor? It's got a small skull and crossbow. It's like arsenic, dude. It? Like, no, dude. I'd say no, don't take the tablet. Cause that, like, yeah, I don't know what it is. As a physician. It, right. Like, as a can't. therapist. Yeah, you can't yeah. be like, yeah, take this pill I didn't give you. It has a skull and crossbow. Yeah, exactly. On What's it. it called? Give me some information. The pharmaceuticals. Here. Yeah, it no. could literally be rat poison. You're cool. I don't think this is getting us anywhere, though. I'll see you tomorrow. Again. Oh, so we have to pick the right goddamn answers, dude. And I guess we're telling him to take the pill so he stops having loop days, dude. I'm, I'm very confused. But on, on the next episode, we will we will definitely cure this man. We are determined. Well, I guess he's going to eat the murder pill, dude. I, man, I guess we'll have to do what we have <laughs> to do. All right, that's all the time we have for this episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe. Uh, if you've done that, hit that notification bell. Jonas. DNT. We are out. Uh.